With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given at the question and the question says an infinite uniformly charged sheet with surface charge density sigma cuts through a spherical Gaussian surface of radius r at a distance x from its center. The electric flux phi through the Gaussian surface is what? Right? So, in this question, the infinite sheet inside the spherical Gaussian, Gaussian surface is of uh, like is a circular sheet, right? So it has a radius r, correct? This is x. So this would be equal to since uh, this is r, this is x. So this would be equal to a. So a is equal to root over of r square minus x square, right? Using Pythagoras theorem, correct? So, according to Gauss's law, phi is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. This is Gauss's law, right? So, what we can say from here is that the Q enclosed, is, Q enclosed is equal to the area that is pi a square into sigma, right? So, that would be equal to pi r square minus x square into sigma, right? So, therefore, phi would be equal to pi r square minus x square into sigma by epsilon naught, right? So, that would be the flux passing, right? Since the area is pi a square for this, correct, into sigma. Why? Because sigma is given to us as charge density, right? Your surface charge density. So, the area which is inside this is pi a square, right? So, due to that, it would be this much, correct? So, what we can write from here is that since we have, so our answer would be pi into r square minus x square sigma by epsilon naught. So, this would be pi here, right? So, our answer would be no, uh, this would not be the answer. Since, okay, here it would be pi. So, this would be our answer. That is option B. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.